Hey guys, John here from the Outdoors Hut. I've got something exciting to show you today. We've got our first hardy hybrid rifle. A hybrid rifle is something pretty cool. Come and have a look. The rifle comes in its own travel case, which is all um, lined out and cut out for the rifle and the accessories. You get a nice set of instructions that tell you everything about the rifle. And although it's reasonably simple, definitely worth a read. The heart of the rifle is the action and the stock. This lightweight assembly is made of carbon fibre and the receiver is made of aluminium. Uh, you think aluminium receiver, that can't be strong enough, but don't worry, it is, and we'll show you why. The whole assembly uh, is based around interchangeable barrels. Now, looking at the rifle, um, you can see it's got a nice um, carbon fiber uh, weave to it but it's also got a green and gray uh, camo effect finish on it um, which I think is pretty effective. Um, if you look on the side of the rifle here you can see three holes. These three holes are the heart of the system. They allow you to tighten the receiver up on the barrel so that the barrel is easily interchangeable. With the rifle comes a torque wrench preset for um, this rifle and um, allows you to remove and set the uh, tension on the um, barrel and receiver so that you get a perfect um, return to zero and a perfect um, headspace every time. So let's see how it works. So here's our barrel. Um, this one here is in 6.5 PRC and it's a hardy match um, barrel with a carbon fiber wrap. So what we've essentially got here is a heavy barrel, but it's um, sort of uh, got the same weight as a standard hunting rifle barrel, but we've got a lot more rigidity, and with rigidity, we get more accuracy. You can see it's threaded. Um, in the kit comes a thread cap if you don't want to run a suppressor, um, but we've chosen to Get it supplied with a hardy covert suppressor um, which gives a really nice reduction in uh, noise pressure or sound pressure and um, isn't too big and bulky okay so the barrel itself is very clever the barrel shank has a built-in set of um, or a receiver area for the bolt to lock into Right, so we can make a lightweight receiver on the action when, because all the strength from the lockup is when the barrel and the bolt lock together. We'll put the barrel on and show you how this works. As you can see on the end of the barrel there's a little nub and that's a key to getting it located into the action correctly. We slide the barrel into the receiver and the first thing we look for is the calibre marking on the side. We should see that just above the line of the stock. Then with a bit of twisting, it clicks in. And when we twist it, it can't go left or right. That means the locking tab is located. The next thing we do is we put our bolt in and close the action. From there, we can use our supplied torque wrench to tighten things up. We turn this until we get the pressure, and then one click, two clicks on the center one first. Then we move to the front screw. One click, two clicks. Back screw, one click, two clicks. Hold open, safe rifle of course, and we're good to go. We can fit our suppressor, a muzzle brake, whatever we want to do, and we're good to hunt. The great part about this, obviously, is if you want to change calibers, it's really simple. We can choose to go from something like this 6.5 PRC down to maybe a more traditional caliber like uh, 308, and all we need to do is change the barrel out and change the front of the bolt head. So the bolt head, as you can see here, has five locking lugs and um, it's removed by this pin here. We have a takedown tool here that we use to remove the back of the uh, 
the shroud off the bolt, which allows us to take our firing pin assembly out, drop this big pin out here, and change our bolt head. We can then go from calibers as small as 223 or even um, 204 Ruger, right up to um, the biggest of the short magnums, 6.5 PRC, uh, 300 WSM, whatever you like, based on the length of the receiver. The Hardy uses the proven Accuracy International style magazine. And I say proven because this style of magazine has been used by the British and American armies as well as many other armies around the world. They're extremely strong and uh, very reliable feeders. They feed from a center, uh, a center I guess, um, situation here, so it's always feeding directly into the chamber rather than having to go left and right into the chamber. Um, the magazine sits in the action nicely. There's no movement or rattling, and just with a push of the release, out it pops. It's a proven system. These magazines are made in America by Accurate Mag, and they are some of the best Accurate International Style magazines you'll ever find. Okay, so, Hardy Hybrid Rifle. We're pretty excited to be selling this, but we also sell a number of other uh, Hardy Rifle um, cool bits, if you like. Uh, including, of course, Hardy suppressors, Night Force scopes, and we have a pretty good range of Night Force scopes in stock here at the moment. And we have the unique ZP1 monopod bipod, uh, specifically set up for Ticker T3 rifles. This bipod this replaces the buttstock on your normal uh, T3, and with a push of a button you have an adjustable um, rest for the back of your rifle. Great if you're trying to get um, stable in a very difficult situation. Okay guys, that's all for me today. If you want to see the Hardy Hybrid Rifle or any other um, uh, parts we've mentioned today, come on in. We're, we're open uh, six days a week, uh, Saturday mornings only. So come in, have a look. Thanks very much.